Hi, it's Charlie Manoy from Halfwheel.com, and today I am once again looking at travel humidors. And I've once again got my handy dandy triangular chart here. Now I think that there are many ways that you can judge a travel humidor, but there are three objective ways that I sort of classify them. I think things, things like value, price, and appearance are relatively subjective, whereas flexibility, the different types of cigars, the widths, the lengths, the ring gauges, those sorts of things that you can store, is a relatively objective category. So is efficiency. How many cigars does the case store versus how much space it takes up? And then finally, protection. Now that's somewhat subjective, but I feel like after enough experience, you have a pretty good idea of the cases that store and protect cigars really well and those that have some problems. And I've yet to find a case that really enters the center. The closest thing is probably the Cigar Caddy five count case, that eight plastic molded case that does really well with five cigars, so long as they aren't super big cigars. But every other case seems to do well in just about two of the three categories. So for example, you have this Vissel carbon fiber case. Now this does really well when it comes to protection. It's pretty good at what, getting once the cigar's in here of keeping it safe and it's very efficient. It's nice and small, you can fit it in your front pocket. The problem with the Vissel is that if you take a small cigar, like this Tai Wahi Tattoo needles, and you stick it in here, it will move around. And if you try to stick a 60 ring gauge cigar in this case, it simply will not fit. And if you try to stick a 70 ring gauge cigar, it will end up on the floor, which is where the one that I tried to put in earlier is. Now this cigar caddy is the 15 count model. This is pretty ubiquitous. It just happens to be the bright orange one. It does really good in the efficiency category. You can actually fit more than 15 cigars in here if you're smaller cigars, a little bit less than Toro's. And it's pretty flexible. You can fit an eight by 80 in here, albeit at the expense of some other cigars. It struggles in protection because when the case isn't filled, things have a habit of rattling around and there's only thin layers of styrofoam to help protect keeping the cigar safe. This is on the other end of the spectrum. Does really well in protection, really well in flexibility, but the $350 Davidoff travel humidor is also the size of my laptop and it only holds eight cigars, which means it's not particularly fun to travel with because it takes up a lot of room. Today's entry will not be able to get in the center like that cigar caddy will. It's the Zykar Envoy. This is the high performance edition, which is a relatively new colorway for the case that's been out for a while. It does really well in the flexibility category. It can hold a variety of cigars. This was one of the first cases that could fit 60 ring gauge cigars, and it's pretty efficient. There are three cigars in it right now, and you could even make the case that you could fit four if they were a little bit below 50 ring gauge cigars. The problem with this case is that it's not particularly good at protecting things. Now, the reason why it's not particularly good at protecting cigars is because of the interior. It's got Spanish cedar and it's got this thin veneer that goes all the way around it. It's one of the very few cases that actually has wood inside of it. And it actually is a nice feature to have and I'm sure is pretty impressive to your friends that don't have a lot of experience with a case like this. The problem is, is that if you put a 50 ring gauge cigar in here that's not in cellophane, and the case isn't full, or if you put three of them in, you go out, you only smoke one of them, and you have two of them to bring home, they will get torn up inside. And it's a reason why when I use this case, all of my cigars are in cellophane. Now, the case functions pretty simplistically. It's obviously that sort of basic telescoping method. There is a front and there is a back. And the red stitching is actually something that I got a lot of compliments on, which I think is important to note because Zycar products aren't necessarily viewed as most aesthetically pleasing to a wide range of people. But this really seemed to go well. And I think the best way to compliment it is what somebody did that actually works in the cigar industry and they saw I had the case and they said, oh, what's that? And I said, it's the new Zycar Envoy. It's one of the new colorways. And they said, really? That's a Zycar product? Uh, and I don't think that was meant as an insult. I think it was meant as a compliment to say that, you know, it really looks a lot different, particularly with the black and red, than a typical Zycar case. If you go up here, it looks a lot similar to what you would expect from Zycar, and they've used this pattern before. And this actually up here is my biggest issue, bigger than the protection issue. The reason is, is that this thing is utterly unbalanced, and I can't really find the happy medium but the point is, is that when you try to hold this, it's really awkward because the case wants to fall forward. The top piece weighs three, four, probably more times, we'll weigh it, we haven't done that yet, but it weighs substantially more than the bottom piece does. And it's actually really awkward if you're just walking around with it in your hands for any period longer than about five minutes. It doesn't hurt, it's not that heavy, but it is awkward. And the case is really too big to fit in my front pockets. It can go in my back pocket, but then I have the risk of sitting down and smashing it. And it also is really large. Like, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm a little bit probably below average in terms of my waist size, but it's a 
pretty big thing to put in your back pocket. Um, and I certainly have some fear of it falling out or of it sort of like going like this as I walk along and it gets clipped by my belt and those sorts of things. So instead, this case normally finds its way into the bottom of my backpack and it's held up pretty well in the put it in the bottom of Charlie's backpack and see what happens for six months test. Uh, and the cigars inside have done pretty well so long as I've kept the case full and so long as I haven't put any cigars outside selfing. Now, would I buy this case? I, that's a tough, tough struggle. It's a very specific market. Uh, if you're a larger person and you have large pockets or if you like to carry around a purse, I think this is probably a perfectly acceptable cigar case for you. But if you don't have particularly large pockets, physical pockets, not monetary speaking, uh, it's awkward and it's really awkward and the three cigar thing is sort of an awkward amount of cigars to bring out for a night out and that's why for a similar price this at 90 bucks or this at $100 I would much rather take the Vissel and I think you can see the size difference right here it should be noted that this cannot handle 60 ring gauge cigars which this can and if you are a 60 ring gauge smoker although not a 64 ring smoker or 68 or 70 ring smoker this is a great case this is not but if you smoke 52s, 54s, 48s a little bit smaller than that, I would much rather have the Vissel for $10 more. It's a much better case, it's much more functional, and it doesn't feel awkward in the hand. Now, for more reviews of the Vissel, or the Zycar, or many other travel humidors, check out halfwheel.com.